Hey crafters! Today I'm going to dive right in and I'm going to begin work on my Heartful Diamonds Princess Ensemble 70 by 100 centimeter diamond painting. If you watched my previous video, I did an unboxing and then I also did one where I put all of the drills in the containers and I showed off each individual drill of these beautiful vibrant colors. I'm very excited to start and I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. I've gone ahead and I've made one single cut in my plastic sheet. And not too far, only about four or five inches in. I think I went like just beyond the S for Snow White. This is going to be the first large section that I go ahead and focus on. I am starting with Snow White and then I'm going to work my way around the canvas because I prefer to work right to left. So as I work, my hand touches drills instead of left to right when my hand would touch the, the glue. I have a lot of black 310 in this diamond painting. According to my inventory sheet, I have about 30,000 drills for all of that. It is a beautiful, vibrant canvas. I'm gonna try and record as much as possible. I'm thinking I will begin doing the black outline kind of on my own, maybe not uh, recording all of that so I can get large sections where I'm just filling in different drill colors. Immediately before I get started, one thing I really love is how vibrant the canvas is. It is very easy to read. I have to be a little ways away from my canvas to make room for my camera. And being further away, I don't have any issues reading it. It's quite legible and I don't even need a light pad during the day. We'll see. Uh, I'll give my review of how it is at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I don't have all of my drills in, so Let's see. I'm going to see, do I have the number symbol? Yes, I do. I'm going to get started with this number symbol here. Try to work my way up. My number symbol right here is a beautiful 892 color. I'm going to go ahead and get started. This pink wax that it came with, it came with two sheets, which I'm happy about. Oh, don't get stuck. It is a little darker than what I would call the really good wax, which is a little bit more translucent, but it's not as dark as the ones that I featured in a previous video. So we'll go ahead and see how it works. Bump. Filled up. Let's get started, 892. This is kind of a really pretty, I would say, almost like light watermelon color that you might see on a kid's lollipop. So, here we go. The first drill in my canvas. I'm going to start in this corner and work my way up. Of course, the very second drill I do, I get two stuck. Let me do better at shaking my tray. Where do I want to put this? There we go. It's a bit off screen. So I started to feel a little intimidated, or the first time I felt intimidated by my choice of canvas was in the middle of putting all of the diamonds in the trays and checking my inventory. So what happened is as I was working, I realized I was going to run out of little organization, these little organizing boxes to put my drills in. And it's not that I didn't accurately prep, it's not like I bought some and then realized I didn't buy enough. I just wasn't prepared for doing a canvas this size. I have not done one this size before, so it took me uh, 
it took me about halfway through that video where I'm putting all the drills in that I realized I'm gonna need a lot more boxes. And uh, that was a wake up call. I'm going to be ordering more. And unfortunately, because our mail is so slow, it will be a bit of time before it arrives. But when it gets here, you're gonna see uh, just me talking very excitedly on a video because I can put the rest of my drills in a box. Already, my kids have been picking up the packs of drills and I'm like, no, 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 please, please, please don't. So the sooner I can get those put away, the better. I'm also gonna be skipping colors as I'm working until I get the drill box holder or I'm not sure the drill, uh, drill organizer, craft organizers, because I don't wanna cut open the plastic bags and not have something to put them in. This large canvas actually only came with five extra little baggies, which is, you know, not, um, I would have, I would have expected, I, I was expecting more. I could go out and try and find my own or use sandwich bags but for now, I'm just gonna avoid the extra work and the extra hassle, and I'm going to skip over the colors that are not opened yet, and when I get the drill box and I can open them out of their plastic package, do the inventory for those colors, I will go back in. It was a, a bummer when I got started because I realized just this bottom corner, this really pretty purple over here, I, I won't be able to open that one because that is one of the colors that I don't have opened or I don't have in, in, in a box yet. And I don't wanna open it and lose drills or have them get all over the place. So that's one I'm gonna be skipping and right, right away a large chunk at the beginning of my diamond painting will be skipped over until I come back. Which again, it's my fault for not grasping the reality of how large this canvas is. I also have no idea how I'm going to finish it in time before our move. So let me tell you this, what I'm thinking now, I'm gonna work on it as much as I can, as often as I can. And instead of doing one long drill with me where maybe I get an hour in a day here, an hour in a day there, I might just record like really small, like 15 minutes of drilling on Monday and then on Tuesday if I get 30 minutes of drilling recording that and then Wednesday if I get an hour, record all of that and put it all together in one video. And that way I can get as much of it on camera and even those smaller little drill sessions will, will help me work towards getting as much done. But I'm thinking, whatever I don't finish, I'm going to buy a clear plastic bin, like the ones you use for storage. I'm going to roll this diamond painting up, stuff the drills, stuff the diamond painting, put it all in this plastic bin and have this be the only thing in the bin. And when we move, I will completely surround the entire bin with like duct tape or clear packing tape. Whatever I need to do as my way of telling the packers, do not open this, do not add anything else to this box. This is so fragile, leave it be. And then it'll get shipped off and fingers crossed it will arrive in um, as well of a condition. So in the foreign service, you know, we move every two to four years. And obviously when you're moving your entire household, there's a lot involved. Now we don't bring our furniture. The furniture we had before we joined is in storage. And our houses come either, some are not furnished at all in certain cities. Some are semi-furnished and others are fully furnished. We have yet to experience a post with no 
furniture or, you know, half, half furnished. So we're not bringing furniture. It's just our, our clothes, trinkets, books, things that trail along with us. So it's a smaller amount every time we move. But the problem is we can't bring all of that on an airplane. So what happens is it gets boxed up, gets put in one of those large shipping containers, and it gets put on a boat. And it sits in a port of call for who knows how long. It gets put on a boat. The boat goes to where it's gonna go. Things again sit in port. They have to get unloaded. It's a long process with customs because you're taking items out of country, bringing items in country. So I just have this little image of my diamond painting all wrapped up in this clear storage bin <laughs> in a large shipping container with our other things, our books, our family photos, just traveling across the world. <laughs> and um, I really hope it arrives in the same condition that I pack it up in. Right now, it looks like that's it for this 892 color. I'm gonna go ahead, put this one up and the one lone green that ended up in there. These colors are so vibrant. I'm really looking forward to it. The custom that I did last time with um, my dog Axel was really great. I picked an outdoor color, so it was a lot of the same uh, drills, a lot of greens, a lot of gray, white, oh, sorry, camera, camera messed up. A lot of green, gray, and white. So having such vibrant colors to look at is um, been really, really exciting as I get, um, get my prepping and start this canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and do this percentage sign, which is actually the DMC right after that. We're gonna do 893. And this is kind of a, uh, looks like a bubblegum pink. Shut my tray on the table. And again, another single green in this one. Here you go. It's coming across really well in this light right now. It is a bubblegum pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I felt not apprehension, but I just kind of was talking to myself over and over, do I want to start this diamond painting knowing I'm not going to finish? Knowing that after I box it up, I really have no clue when I will see it again because I don't know how long shipping will take. Um, in some cases, like when we got to Tunisia, it was three months, maybe three and a half months from when we saw our, all of our items packed up in Virginia to when they arrived here in Tunisia. I'm thinking it will be a shorter time because I have no idea what port the things will go in as they leave Tunisia and make their way to Germany, but it is a shorter distance. So I'm hoping for less time there. Um, we, we're going to the United States. When we leave Tunisia, we'll go to the United States for a couple months before we head to Germany. And we're able to bring some stuff with us, you know, pretty much as many suitcases as we're willing to lug around. But really it's like two adults, three kids, a dog. How many suitcases do we wanna be lugging around? So we're gonna pack pretty light, put most of our stuff in storage. And I just figured I don't wanna sit on this canvas. I don't wanna miss out working on it, getting started because um, just because I don't know when I'll be able to finish. Should just go ahead and start because this canvas has made me really happy even just prepping it, looking at it. My girls are so excited for this. They were, they were getting a little picky too. One said they wanted me to start with Jasmine and the other said she wanted me to start with Belle. And they like diamond painting. 
they've actually enjoyed watching some other YouTube creators with me when I have it on, but they don't understand when I say, mommy doesn't wanna put her hand in glue, mommy's gonna start from the bottom. They don't understand all that. So it's like, oh, mommy, why can't you start with Jasmine? And I'm like, cause then I'm gonna have to fold the canvas and they're like, okay, 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 mom, whatever. Oh, one thing I just noticed on this canvas, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this drill on purpose kind of wrong to show you. I'm purposely gonna put it in the middle of two spots because it's actually pretty easy to move the drills on the canvas into the correct location if you need to, if you make an error. And I'm really excited about that since I'm still kind of a newbie having anything to um, help me, help my productivity, help me go a little faster is really nice. It's almost like it's a, not a stickier glue, because it's pretty good. Seems like the others, it's just a, um, not as dry. It's not as dry, so it's a little easier to move around. And that's pretty good. You know, one of the benefits, and I, I really don't think I can finish this before I leave Tunisia, but framing here, and I'm talking custom framing with, you know, like that non-reflective fancy glass where light doesn't, you know, where light doesn't put, leave these big circles and beautiful matting, all of that. Framing here is very inexpensive. It's so affordable. And um, my husband brought that up to me. He's like, man, if you could finish it before you left, you could get it framed here for maybe, you know, you can get a custom frame for the size of what a nice one at Michael's just buying it off the shelf would cost. And I was like, oh man, that's kind of a motivator. <laughs> if anything will get me to quickly work, the idea of saving possibly like hundreds of dollars or when we get to Germany and I'm paying in euros for everything. Saving hundreds of euros, that'll get me moving fast. Okay. Yeah. I also don't wanna rush through. Have you ever tried rushing through a craft and then realize that it's just not this fun, relaxing thing anymore? It's, it's like a job. Yeah, I don't wanna get to that point either. But this pink is looking really, really great. I like that. And an update on the move. We actually, we're still not sure when we're moving. We're waiting to hear. We, you know, we have a projected date, but you know, um, with the with the backlog, the majority of us all move in the summer. So it's the busy season. It's um, everyone trying to get everything done within a very short time frame. So it's kind of normal to to not know, even though it's February and we might be leaving May at the latest. It's still kind of normal. We just uh, trust the system. Oh, I heard a meow. Oh, okay, let me see. We got cats in the yard. How many do we have in the yard? Diamond painting break. I think I have two. Oh, Axel is going to flip out if he hears those meows. Yeah, I think I have two right now. Yeah. Even with the really high walls, you know, we have so many street cats, they just jump right in. And where is Axel? I have no idea where he is. Oh, man, this one cat in the yard is really a loud meow. I don't I, Probably isn't being picked up on the camera, but she's like, meow, meow, meow. And I saw one of them walk past the window. So I'm not sure where the very loud one is. I mean, we, um, we learned our lesson. <laughs> so one time we put a bag of trash outside and just, you know, Took it out of the house. So the street cats here, they are feisty. <laughs> they take their little claws, 
they shred your plastic bags open and just go all through your trash. So we made that mistake one time, one time. And now, you know, they, uh, they always keep checking. So now we actually, we bought a large trash bin and we just put our plastic bag in the trash bin. I don't hear them anymore. The cats are probably moving on their way. Maybe that means a dog is coming by or something, who knows. Ugh, I am really gonna miss Tunisia. This place is beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's crazy to think that we've had the privilege of living here for three years. And I don't know if we'll ever get to be so somewhere so wonderful. I mean, um, I'm. If I wanted to, I could walk to the beach, or I could walk to some beautiful ancient Roman ruins, or you know I could get in the car and go to a museum, or I could just go up in Sidi Bou Said and sit at a hilltop cafe and watch the waves of the Mediterranean, the sunrise, the sunset. Absolutely beautiful. It's Things are gonna look different in Germany. <laughs> I am excited for snow. I am so excited for snow. Um, it doesn't really get cold in Tunisia. We're actually having a cold day today and it's about mid 50s. But it's windy, so it probably feels a little colder than that. And you know, my kids have lived here for so many years that they can only remember one snowfall. And even then, it was when we were in Washington, D.C., and it was a very light dusting. So they've never had the experience of having a snow day or getting some warm clothes on and going out and walking around in the snow when they were little when they were little they had a snowfall at their grandparents house but they don't remember that because they were teeny tiny so getting to experience that with them will be a lot of fun Let's see what else is new what else has been going on gosh it just seems like work as usual the weekend we were just lazy as much as we could but just keeping up with all the kids trying to get some crafting done before we leave preparing our our house is a mess i have i've given up and my excuse is going to be because of the move when really i gave up a long time ago on keeping everything here tidy I'd rather be sane and happy and have my kids, you know, have us play all the time than have a perfect house, really. Although it would be, it would be really nice to have like a beautiful house where there's no chocolate milk spilt on the carpet and, you know, I didn't have to clean the tables all the time. There's always food on the table. Don't even get me started. Three... Two toddlers and a baby. Always food stuck on the table. But I'm off on a tangent now. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. Um, so what's new? Okay. I just thought of this. So no spoilers, but this movie has been out for so long, so many times, so many remakes. It's, I mean, at this point, I'm surprised it wasn't spoiled for me. So we rented a Star is Born at that movie with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Um, I kept seeing online people saying the movie was so good, so good. And it finally, you know, came out on, um, came out over here where we could watch it. And my goodness, hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna try and talk about this without any spoilers, but um, not what I thought it was gonna be great movie really good movie I enjoyed watching it but um 
this might be a little bit of a spoiler. If you still want to see it, just um, turn the volume down really quick, count to 20, and then turn it back up, okay? This is your warning. Okay, so I'm watching the movie, and towards the end, I'm going to try and not spoil this, but it is like one of the last couple scenes in the movie, and I just start bawling my eyes out, crying on the couch. And I'm just like, this movie is ending so sad, so sad. And I, I just uncontrollable, uncontrollable tears down my face, using the blanket in my lap to try and, and dry my eyes. But, spoiler over. I mean, that's not even really a spoiler. It was a great movie. I don't go into detail, but I, I, I didn't expect that. And I know, I'm living under a rock. It's like this movie was in theaters months ago and she's just talking about it now, but I really liked it. You know, being... Actually, that's one thing I miss. Oh, we just had the Super Bowl too. So this all ties together. One thing I miss about being overseas is you really miss out on pop culture moments like that. Like, um, let me go in and zoom in a little bit. The Super Bowl, not having a Super Bowl party. For us, it was shown here. It was, uh, it was at 12.30 in the morning though. So didn't stay up and watch it. So, you know, watching it the next day, watching clips, I'm still trying to track down and try and find the, um, the different commercials that people said I saw online that were like funny and really good but you miss out on a little bit of that pop culture stuff. And with movies, you know, we don't get to always see movies right when they come out. We do have an English language movie theater and it's really great. It's a really nice theater and tickets are maybe like six or seven Tunisian dinar, which breaks down to two or three US dollars. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause on the movie talk. Looks like I'm done with this one. I'm going to put this back in. I do have this purple one. A squiggly line with a straight line underneath. That was actually one of the, one of the few I could put in my tray. Or the last one I put in my tray. Right here. It's a really pretty, pretty purple. Let me pause the movie talk. Put a lot on my tray because this is a large section. And there we go. Okay. Back to movie talk. So a ticket is inexpensive and they do show some, some, not all, but we get a few of the new release English movies. I'm just kind of in that stage where all the movies are shown at like seven or 9 p.m. and 7 p.m. like we're winding down for the day we're getting ready for the kids bedtime and then 9 p.m. means I'm already a little tired and I would have to get a babysitter Ugh. maybe it's just um me starting to get a little too old for that I like matinee movies I like matinee movies give me like an 11 a.m. Not full theater, large popcorn, extra butter, $4 pack of Sour Patch Kids. My goodness, it's always, it's so expensive. Can't eat the movie theater, it's so expensive. But that that is how I would like to see a movie and uh -uh, that doesn't happen. This is a really pretty purple. So again, this is DMC uh, 3607 and pretty good light. It's a uh, pinkish purple with a, a little bit leaning more towards purple. And it's really pretty. Yeah, being overseas, you kind of miss out on pop culture stuff. Mm. I should make a lot of these uh, Drill With Me's like Disney themed, since this is the Disney Princess Ensemble. I wanna try and go to Disney World or Disneyland I'm not sure. I think Disney World. Try and do Disney World when we're 
in the United States this summer. And I'm gonna see if I can work that out. Because my goodness, we're a family of five. Two adults, two toddlers, and a baby. So trying to plan a Disney vacation for, at minimum, three days. Because we really, you know, we want it to be a vacation. You can't push too hard. It's so expensive. Oh my goodness. I should do Disney themed. Disney themed talks. I'll think of something. My box is doing pretty good, but it's starting to uh, not pick up as easy. So I've got to just know I need to, I'm going to refill my wax in a little bit. Yeah, well, this looks really beautiful. This, um, the canvas has been pretty easy so far. It is, well, they're round drills going into a square spot. So that leaves me some room on around each drill. They're not getting pressed right up against each other. And the canvas is, is really, it's really good. My last one had air bubbles. That was my first experience with trying to pop air bubbles and get all of it out. I just, I didn't do it well. I tried to pop them and then I had all this like extra glue that was kind of folded over and bunched up and then my drill started popping because it was stuck on the bunched up glue. Ugh. I, that, you know, that obviously that's something that you get better at as you practice, the more you do it, but I don't want to get better at that. I don't want to have to deal with my canvases all being difficult. This one is really well, going really good. And you know what, I might have a theory. A more experienced diamond painter, let me know what you think. I have not had any air bubbles or popped up glue or anything like that on the two canvases I've done with this clear plastic. So it was the one canvas with the white cover sheet. That one was hardest. Ooh, you know what? I should do a little expert mode, some of these larger parts, and do my three spacer. I'm getting better at my three spacer. I'm actually going to Pop some in right now. What works best for me is like shaking them, getting that really good line, and then tilting my tray a little bit to get them super lined up. And then I can just go through all the way down the row. Three, three, three. I struggle still to make sure all three are in line. And I kind of usually end up putting one using the edge of the tip to put one or the other in place. But I'm really getting the hang of it. And um, I feel good about doing that more. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of places that I can really do this with on this canvas. There's only a few three wide drills here and there three right spaces for each color. But um, anything to help mix it up because this is, this is gonna be a long one. See, it's pretty good. That was actually a really good lineup. And then expert mode, turn it to the side. <laughs> there we go. Shake it out, tilt it just a little bit. Perfect. Who was your favorite Disney princess when you grew up? I think mine, goodness, maybe Ariel. I watched, I watched Little Mermaid a lot as a kid. My girls are starting to get into Ariel and it's really, really sweet. They, um, 
right now. They're kind of all over the board. I mean, I love them all. I'd say maybe Belle is their favorite. Again, since it's so easy to push them on this glue, I can do really easy corrections like that. But Belle's probably their favorite. Um, right now, they really like uh, Tiana and Anna from Frozen. They, oh my God, I mean, I, if I named everyone that they like, I would just keep going. They love Ariel, they love Cinderella, they love Jasmine, they love Snow White. It almost kind of depends. They, they go in these waves. So right now they are in a Frozen and Tiana, Princess Tiana stage. And then they come back to Belle, and then they go to Jasmine, and then they come back to Tiana. Ebbs and flows. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, um, okay. This one that I just placed might be the very first drill, and I've done a decent amount. That might be the very first drill that had a little bit of extra plastic on the side of it. Um, not a whole lot, not enough to make it a bad drill, anything like that. But that just made me realize these drills so far are really good. Um, they're cut well. They're not missing chunks and uh, I don't see holes in the top of the drills. Yeah. Heartful Diamonds is a well-known, like, reputable diamond painting company. And, you know, they've earned that name recognition for a reason. Because they have good quality products. Oh, I can only get two on this one. I, hmm. There we go. Let me just go back to the one. If we go to Disneyland, I would want to go all out. I would want to get like the kids all the little Mickey ears. And I would just have to try all the food. Every single one of them. Um, so I've been to Disney World like... Uh, been to Disney World twice. Disneyland once. And I've never tried Dole Whip. I know, I'm missing out. So that is very high on my to-do list this time. And just kind of uh, experience all that with the kids, have a lot of yummy desserts. I'm gonna have to start reading like a lot of blogs and suggestions on the best way to do Disney. Because if we go, it would be in the summer. So no matter if we do Disney World or Disneyland, it'll be quite warm. I mean, I think I read that you can bring your own water in, but if you're gonna be at the park all day, you obviously don't wanna pack your bag full of water because that's the bag you have to carry all day. Um, so I gotta figure out some really good helpful hints and suggestions. Mm. Maybe, uh, maybe my wax in my pen is starting to go because I have had to do a couple double takes, a couple triple takes. I decided I just need to order the pick me up pen and go from there. Rambling Rose on her YouTube channel mentioned it and I've seen it online. I just like bite the bullet and I need to order it. The only problem is a lot of times, even though something is online and it's for you know the normal regular price, they might not ship to our DPO address. So you have to find a seller that will ship to a DPO address. And in that case, the item could become more expensive. So I haven't bought it yet. I was thinking I would wait until I got back to the States, but what's the point? I really wanna try it. I think it would help me be more productive and quickly move through my diamond paintings. So I should just go ahead and buy it. And the last few of the straight line with the squiggly line underneath it. Oh, see another double take. 
There you go. Are down here. So far, this is a great canvas. Going really well. I have quite enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I'll do, when I get a chance later, I'll come back in and fill in all of the three tens. This is symbol number number five, and that actually is for 310. When we do drill with me, we want to look at these pretty, beautiful, sparkly colors. Mm. Watching me do the outline is bleh. We have um, number one up top here, and then I can do this other symbol in here as well, but we can go ahead and do number one. Number one is DMC156. It's a nice blue. I've had this in my other two diamond paintings, so it makes me think this is probably a really popular one, right? I've had three. This is my third. Very different type of paintings. They've all had this shade in it, so it's Yeah, I never know where to put my put my little drill case like while I'm working. <laughs> yeah. I think the wax is starting to go a little bit. So this might be not be my preferred wax. I've still what for some reason I think this diamond painting wax has been the best I've used so far. This is all I have left. And I'm just hoarding it. I might use that on this project. Also the blue tack, that's another one that I haven't been able to really get a good seller and get it overseas. I would be paying twice as much or triple. So I haven't bought that one. And as silly as it is, I have an idea of something I wanna use, but um, I'm gonna do a video and see if it actually works. Uh, this like window sealant. This stuff is sticky. I think that'll work kind of well because it doesn't really fully dry. So I wonder how well it would it would work with drills. <laughs> I'm gonna use like the diamond uh, diamond painting little pink pen that uh, maybe from another project. That way, if I mess one up and I get too much like bad stuff in the tip, I don't feel bad about throwing it away. But I've been interested in trying that. This is a nice blue, uh, blue, this is a nice border. I wish I could do this purple. It's um, still packaged up. This is what that purple would be for this spot right here. What other crafts do you guys do? Besides diamond painting, or if diamond painting is your main craft or the one craft you love to do, that's great. If you have any other crafts, let me know. I wanna try and, I've got diamond painting, I've got knitting, I've got crochet, which I feel like I'm in a constant state of trying to learn. I wanna get into some fabric art. I'm, I'm really, good at planning what crafts I want to do and think of everything, getting the inventory, but I'm not that great at um, actually starting and following through with a new craft. Still kind of sticking to what I know, but I need to branch out more. I mean, diamond paintings, I did not know diamond paintings a couple months ago, and look at me now. Obsessed. Obsessed. Cool. Getting this three spacer coming. Really good at it. Again, it might be easier to do the three spacer on this canvas since when the drills get in the glue, you can just give it a little twist and turn like that to get it really well lined up and they move with you. It makes it easier. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on the time. So I get all the kids from school and I'm not just 
sitting here doing diamond paintings the whole afternoon and uh, I missed pickup. Maybe I'll go ahead and um, go ahead and finish this number one spot and then take a break. This has been really good progress, just in a few minutes. And when I'm not like yapping my mouth and I'm just focused on doing the diamond painting, like I've got my own music on, I work faster. So I've done a lot in about 45 minutes. And if I wasn't chat, 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 chatting, I think I would have done more. So it's good. I mean, even though it's um, there's not any large chunks of one color, It'll go quick. Maybe I'm just lying to myself. I'm trying to tell myself it's gonna go fast because this is such a large, intimidating project. We'll see. Okay. I was gonna try and do a three, but I don't see many spots that I could put three of this color in. There, oh, maybe two more. Here, um, here, everywhere else it's just one, one, oh, one more three. Take advantage of it while I can. Oh, I only got two on that one. But yeah, I probably will take a break after doing this number one. Check out the time and make myself some lunch and get to the kids' school. Please keep watching. I'm so excited about this canvas. If you have any questions, any questions about Foreign Service Live, any questions about Disney that you want me to answer, I mean, I'm not a Disney expert, but please put it down in the comments. I would love to answer it in my next video because if not, I just ramble and ramble and ramble. But some pretty good progress today. Look at that. Got this whole corner done. Again, I'm going to go through and work on the black outline on my own. So the next time we do a drill with me, you'll see a little bit more progress. And it's been really great. Thanks for hanging out and crafting with me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye crafters.